Hello and welcome to today's Within 10 Minutes tutorial. Today we're going to make a bottle and we're going to start by importing an EPS file into Lightwave. You can make your own bottle from scratch from Illustrator, but it's always best to have a reference picture like the one that we have here. This, this file bottle will be available through our file share for you to use if you wish. I'm just going to quickly outline half the bottle of the pen tool, leaving the top of the bottle open as you can see here, because this is where we'll stick the cork in later. When you're done, go to Object, Expand, and choose Fill Object and Create Outlines. You should do this for all files you wish to bring into Lightwave, unless the thin line that you've got defaulted is going to be large enough for you to import in. But either then, it's always still better to create outlines first. And I'm just going to touch this up really quickly to make it more realistic. And you should probably do the same. When you're done, hit save. Choose EPS, then in the final window, change the first drop down up top to Illustrator 8 EPS. This version is known to be compatible for importing to Lightwave 9 and up. If you have version 10, stick to this format still, just for now. Inside Lightwave, choose File, Import, EPS Loader, browse for your file and hit Import. You'll need to have this centered. If it isn't centered correctly, hit F2. Choose your lathe tool located in the Multiply tab or hit Shift L, which is used to repeat the edges in a circular area like so. You may need to center the bottom points and do some trial and error to make the lathe sit perfectly without leaving holes in the bottom or overlapping surfaces. We center this because it's much easier to line up the tool along the zero axis. Hit F to flip the surfaces. We'll isolate the top now so we can make a cork, and for this, we'll just make a disc on another layer and extrude it and reshape it to fit within the opening of the bottle. To isolate, select it, make your selection, and hit the minus key. This hides your current selection. Hitting plus will hide everything but your current selection. You can bring these back later by hitting the backslash key. Now we're going to make the liquid. In the perspective window, select the polygons on the bottom inside of the bottle and use shift close square bracket to select the polys adjacent to it until you've chosen the majority of the ones that are inside. Copy and paste your selection into a new layer. Select the top points in a circular order, then hit P to create a new surface attached to these points. 
I hit F to flip the surfaces. Select the wireframe view of your bottle and then use this as a reference to resize a liquid you made to fit snugly inside. Now that we're done here, name your layers accordingly and then save it. We're going to use this later in layout to create our scene.